Time is very precious to me. I don't know how much I have left, and I have some things that I would like to say. To me, there are three things we all should do every day. Number one is laugh. You should laugh every day. Number two is think. You should spend some time in thought. And number three is you should have your emotions moved to tears. The key thing about the V Foundation Awards is they're for exciting young investigators that are just on their way up. Jim Brugarolis is getting this award because of his very exciting plan to take genetic information that occurs in the individual patient's uh, kidney cancer, renal cancer, and then move that forward in, into the clinic. And I always have to think about what's important in life is to think to me of three things, where you started, where you are, and where you're going to be. How do you go from where you are to where you want to be? And I think it, it, you have to have an enthusiasm for life. You have to have a dream, a goal. You have to be willing to work for it. I am inspired by the, by the legacy of uh, Jim Balvano, who decided to invest in cancer research at a time when there was little investment. This was an important award for us because uh, it came at a time that I was starting my research program. There are five pillars for our research program. The first one is trying to understand the genes that drive kidney cancer development. The second one is understanding how alterations in those genes affect um, pathways within the cell. The third program focuses on trying to harness that information for drug development. The fourth program um, focuses on developing better models of kidney cancer where we can test the drugs that, that emerge from our screens. And ultimately, if we want to be able to take things that emerge from the laboratory as they are developed into patients, we're going to need to have biomarkers. And this is an area where we've made significant contributions. Uh, our work has established the foundation for the first uh, molecular genetic classification of kidney cancer. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. We do want to take that approach that we just don't want to give up, that there has to be a way to deal with this dread disease. There have been significant advances over the past eight years with the approval of seven treatments by the FDA, but this remains something that we need to find ways to cure. Cancer can take away all my physical abilities. It cannot touch my mind, it cannot touch my heart, and it cannot touch my soul. And those three things are going to carry on forever. I thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you.